Hi, Rob Silver, Manly Boys High School Counselor. So can you tell us how long you've been a Travellers Facilitator? Two years. Two years. And how have you found being a facilitator of Travellers? Really good. It's a really good program. Um, it allows for boys to be challenged, but in a safe way. It allows for them to um, talk about what they want and about what they need. Um, but it also allows for us to be as general as we need to be. But it allows for us to be as specific as we need to be. Um, it's not the first program we've tried at school. Mm -hmm. um, but the difference in the two programs is chalk and cheese. Um, and we only tried the other one for one year. Um, and we wouldn't go back to it. It just, it just doesn't do the same stuff and it doesn't meet the needs of the kids in the same way. So how many groups has Make Your Boys High School run now? We've done six. Mm -hmm. um, I co-facilitate with a teacher. Um, so we base our program around her free times. Um, and she and I have done four together. Um, and then we have two um, RTLBs who are part of the program. And they've done two programs and they do the same time every week. Mm -hmm. And because of our rotating timetable, that means our boys don't ever come up with the same subject very regularly, so it works well. And thinking about a group of boys going through the program and they're on that journey of travellers, mm -hmm. what sort of things have you noticed about individual boys or the group? In terms of the group, the group grows through the sessions. In what way grows? Um, becomes more talkative, becomes more friendly, becomes more relaxed, becomes more open, um, becomes more trusting of each other. In the groups that we've run here, I'm yet to hear of a case of broken confidentiality and we set the rules together mm. um, and because of the way that setup works, the boys contribute, teachers contribute, facilitators contribute and we get out of it the rules we need. But the kids are not stupid and know what we're looking for. So generally does the, that positive stuff come through. But there's also very much the individual stuff that you're also alluding to. Um, there's the kid who, um, in our first program this year, couldn't go to class. And so was out of class because there was too much stress and too much tension in the class for him. Other kids able to cope, but he couldn't. And working on stuff like snake balls and leather balls, working on stuff like I'm okay just because I'm okay, helping him to talk through his feelings and to understand what feelings are about, thoughts are about, how you link those things together and all that sort of stuff. Three weeks out of class, but back into class and being a competent student and being an able student and doing the stuff he needed to do in that classroom. Thankfully it was one of his options, not one of his main classes. Another kid last year who, academically very clever, one of our top kids, sports-wise very clever, emotionally very challenged. Went from the kid who says, I can't, I won't, didn't open his mouth in class, to the kid who was able to be part of our top stream class, because we stream our kids, mm -hmm. but able to be confident and comfortable in his own skin. Still not the biggest talker in the world, still not the biggest talker in the room, but able to be comfortable and confident in his own skin. Um, those are two that come to mind of mm -hmm. a whole list that I could give you quite easily about. And being a guidance counsellor and a travellers facilitator, how do those roles oh, fit? Hand in glove. Mm -hmm. um, it, it means that there are comments in the diaries that the kids write um, that I can pick up on. It means that there are things talked about within the travellers group that need picking up on. It's uh, the life maps, mm -hmm. you know, and, and there's a wealth of information that comes through all those channels. Um, and not every kid needs to talk about them outside, but being able to check and see mm. is really, really useful. 
Um, the other thing that I find phenomenally useful about the Travellers Programme is the initial set-up surveys. You know, we, we survey all of our year group, and for us it's year 9, though last year we did year 10s as well for one of our programmes. The amount of information that comes through on those initial surveys about um, where kids are up to, where kids are at, and some of the surveys you're checking up with the boys and I oh, know that's all over now because it was situational. Mm. And that's okay, good. Mm. You've got past and I don't need to worry about it too much so let's get on with it. But for other kids there are some deep-seated held thoughts, attitudes, values and it's those um, surveys that just, they're gold and um, we're really grateful to be able to have them and to be able to use them and to be able to base our travellers groups around but it's also the kids who are more high need than that that we find out about and we've got all sorts of methods in schools for assessing kids but we're still finding kids who don't fit onto the other assessments that we've got we find kids who have come from an intermediate or a contributing school lovely kid da 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 but what's written on the survey tells us that these kids need some special attention. We don't have any way of finding that out. I mean, to be able to find it out at year nine makes a difference for them for the next several years. So, well, I'm imagining that because we haven't had several years, but the kid I talked about from the top bus, I catch up with him every now and again and see how things are going. He's still talking positively about his travels experience 18 months later. Um, so, the travellers, the weekly sessions are important. Mm. The travellers, paperwork that goes with the weekly sessions is important. The survey stuff, we got no way else of getting that information mm. except out of the babes mm. themselves and they tell us. Mm. Um, so it's the whole package, it's a really good package and it works really well. And Knowing that we can ring Skylight any time we need to and say help, also invaluable. So it's the mixture of stuff and, and the contact that we get. And, yeah. Thank you. Welcome.